Hello, it's Mr. Michael. Uh, I'm going to be discussing uh, the Spike Prime hub, the new hub with Spike Prime. Our other videos discuss what's going on with the trays, all the elements that are inside. A uh, quick discovery throughout, a little tour throughout the set, but I want to kind of talk a little bit more in detail about the hub part. So this is your new Spike Prime hub. Give you a close-up look here. No, there's not a display screen, but it does light up. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. It's three seconds. One, then thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, and it's on. Uh, EV3 was 40 plus seconds. NXT, it's pretty quick. So this light that illuminates from it is a five by five light matrix system that goes on in your Spike Prime. You can see the center button is flashing. You have a toggle for the left to go through your codes, left and right, and then you have your Bluetooth connectability at the top as well. Speaker at the bottom, which beeps pretty loud. You see some connectability here as they carried over from the other models and some angled area parts here. And here is your plug-in element, which has a light that is green when charged and red when charging. Charging port, plug that into a USB port there. Plug this into your Spike Prime here. When it's plugged in to your computer as you're coding, it is also charging the hub. So you say, hey, what happens when my battery runs out? Well, it's charging as you go, so it shouldn't run out but you only have this, I say only, because we've had other options before. We've had options if you didn't have the chargeable, rechargeable section, you can throw some AA batteries in there, six AA into the NXT or the EV3 before, and then put it back on that and make it flatter. Without the charging uh, parts sticking out for different models if you wanted to retail models mainly. This is flat, uh, this, this hub is extremely light, and you just pop this rechargeable section in here. If you notice, it'll give you, you saw the lighting area here. If you're using this and it turns to the, I need to change the battery light, which is gonna be orange, and it's gonna flash for you there and give you a little beep, you'll need to charge this. And that's gonna charge uh, for eight to 12 hours, depending on how low this is. But this battery lasts for a very, very, very long time without being charged and a lot of work on it, even with the new, uh, motors, which we'll discuss in a, uh, another video. I may do a little uh, little um, jump in there for the new motors. So that was a medium and it's a large. So let's get some more into this this hub system. This hub system has a gyro accelerometer inside of it, six axis. So this is when you see my eyes like light up and go, what? Before you would have an exterior gyrosphere that you would plug in, maybe two, one for pitch, yaw, and roll, and you would have two of them, which would take up two of the three or four ports, depending on NXT or EV3. Now, this is already built in, and it reads out real time on your screen, and you have yaw, which is flat spin, and you can reset it if you need to for those gyro sensor um, hang-ups and catch-ups that you've had, and you have pitch, which is uh, tip to front, tip to back, uh, tilting, uh, pitch positive, pitch negative. So your yaw would go zero to 359 degrees and 360 would go back around to zero, which is a full circle. And you have your roll, which is left to right on your hub, positive and negative there. Uh, very sensitive, very accurate. This also has an accelerometer, a action in here where it can tell you if it's being tapped so there is a music feature on here we can add different music for maybe uh, drums or activating different things and also the accelerometer can be coded for when it's falling of course on a soft surface if you're doing this on purpose you don't want to fall off a desk or something and it act oh, I'm falling anyway uh, so you do an accelerometer on this to talk about how fast it's moving how fast it fail, activate the timer, activate the dropping accelerometer. You can have a lot of fun 
with this science to the max math to the max just really doing some cool stuff also on this screen it has a readout so five by five you can actually show a picture make an image it can be dimmed to nine settings so this will be offsetting on will be what I had on earlier and seven different dimming lightings inside of that as well so you can bring it light or darker depending on your atmosphere if you want to have different moments you can also scroll letters by for words so there's a lot of opportunity with this hub so you're looking going what's up with the plugs on the side they look different yes the plug-in ports on the side look a little different I'll even give you an opportunity to look at those arrows here going in and out. So what is that for? That is for motors anywhere you want to put them. You can plug a motor into any of the six ports. You can plug a sensor into any of the six ports. All ports are input and output. They are open, they are fantastic, and they are simple, and they are amazing. So I'm going to plug in a media motor. Done. No clips to open up. This hangs in there really, really well. Uh, we don't have any problems with it. It doesn't take up a lot of face. You can actually lay that motor down flat. And even on the motor, yes, I said I wasn't going to show it that much, but the motor even has a flat opportunity for the wire to disappear or be built on top of. So uh, that's just a few things going on with the hub, but I did want to cover that. I know it's a longer video, but there's a lot to talk about uh, with this hub. Yes, you can change the color to single of uh, the uh, center color button here. This stays white, but it does shade in and out. And um, yeah, this is cool. Stay tuned for other video. We're going to talk about the motors, the sensors, and if you haven't seen the left and the top, left and the right top tray, uh, please look for those videos as well. Thank you, Mr. Michael, over and out.